What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. In this tutorial video, about, it's gonna cover two things, uh, can jobs, uh, quick, well, actually three things, sorry. Can jobs, quick buttons, and online ordering. Uh, the first thing, let's just select, uh, create an estimate real quick. This time we're gonna create an estimate from an existing customer. So we're gonna click on existing customer, type in the phone number, and select the vehicle. And just like that, we created an estimate. Um, this time I'm running on uh, Google Cloud, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. So let's say uh, the first thing we're going to talk about the quick buttons right here, which is are very, very important. Uh, what I mean by that, there's certain stuff like alignment or diagnosis or smog test uh, or all changes. Those are the quick buttons. There are six of them at the bottom. Um, to edit any of these buttons, all you have to do is just click on hold and you can change whatever you want you can you can add uh, you know, let's say basic all change you can track the all change by uh, so it's to see how much you're making money of that make sure you you, you select the code all change one and then click on save exit um uh, any of these bonds can be parts labor or fee if you uh, charge a smog test for example just click on hold and make sure it's a fee and make sure type make sure select your smog test uh, to keep uh, keep track of how much you're making money and click on save so like I said those are very important um, that how to use the quick button all you have to do is click on it basic all change it fills it automatically um, if I want to click on alignment it fills it automatically right here if I want to click on smog test it fills it automatically so it's the quickest way of creating estimates and invoices uh, for the mechanic it makes it makes your life so easy uh, so the second step, the second thing I want to talk about is can jobs. Can job instead of having just one line. If you look at the basic all chain, only have one line. Uh, we can have multiple lines of, of parts and multiple lines of labor. So just go ahead and click on can jobs. Um, uh, it's gonna come an empty when you when you buy the software. So you need to create your own. Uh, to create your own, just click on new job right here. And let's say we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna call it starter. That's the name of the job. We we'll click on save. And now we can add parts and labor or fees all in one. So we're going to go ahead and say, let's say starter uh, assembly. And we're going to say, do we, we just put in these numbers, you're going to change them. This is just uh, uh, the average number. So let's say the starters cost us $109.95, $164. Um, we, can, we can code it too if we want to. Um, you, you, only have to add, you only have to add the part numbers. Click on add. And then we're gonna add labor too. I'm gonna say remove and replace a starter. And let's say 0 0.9. And we're gonna click on add. So if you look here, we have parts and labor for the job starter. And once we're done, it's give you how much it's gonna be. If those are fixed, it's not a problem, but obviously starter every in every card is gonna be different. So uh, let's just go ahead and exit. And now if we type on the search right here, starter, obviously there's two because I, I had one before. We're just going to click on starter. Um, I think it picked up the one before. That's fine. Let me just delete it. Anyway, to edit the starter, speaking of which, let's just delete one too. And that way I can show you how to delete. To edit the starter, just click on hold again. And it's going to open it right back up. Uh, this is the old one. It's not even correct anyway. All right, let's go back. Starter, so it's right there if I click on it. So the beauty of it, it fills it automatically for you. So it's starter, remover, parts, and labor. And uh, let's say this is for a different vehicle. I just click on it and I change the price. I type in my cost. Let's say this one cost me $134.95. Do I want to sell it for $202? And let's say yes, update. And I go to the labor and click on the labor and let's say this one it's going to take me 2.5 hours and click on update so, so those are called can jobs which mean that they're already typed in all you have to do is just click on it and it fills the, the parts and labor for you now let's talk about online ordering online ordering which is the easiest way of adding parts and labor if you're using next part so online ordering, how that work? Um, there's a button right here. You're gonna click on it, but before you do that, you need to set up your online ordering from here. You need to set up the password and username. So let's talk about, let's check out AutoZone real quick. If I click on plus sign and then click on AutoZone, 
Now what happens at this moment, uh, the, the, the VIP shop menu is gonna take your VIN number, send it to AutoZone. AutoZone is gonna decode the VIN number and select the vehicle automatically. So if you look up top, the 06 G6, it's already selected. Remember, this is the car that we're working on. It. It's the 06 Pontiac G6. So that's brilliant right there. We just click on plus sign and click on AutoZone. You don't have to do anything. The software, uh, comb it's, uh, we, we have partnership with AutoZone. That's how it works. Now let's say I want to get a starter for this vehicle. I'm going to click on starter right here. Look up the starter. And so now I can shop just regular. Let's say I want to get the $92. So I click on add to quote. And then when if I need something else, I could add. So you don't have to be stuck with just one. And just click on view quote. And when you're ready, you can transfer the card. Just click on transfer card. And what happens is going to bring the starter all the way to you. It's a value craft if I click on it. It's going to fill up everything automatically for you from your cost to the selling price and you can override that uh, to the vendor to the part number which is really really amazing. Um, let's look at next part. Next part, what's next part? It's just a connector to all the vendors including AutoZone, uh, O'Reilly Advance, Worldpack and all those. So we're going to click on next part. So you can have up to 12 vendors on next part right now and you can have from like I said um, uh, factory motor parts, uh, O'Reilly, Parts Authority, World Pack, Pet Boys, all those. I'm going to choose World Pack right now. And this is, uh, this is how it looks like with, uh, with uh, World Pack. You just type, you can search by a component. Um, let's say I want to sell brake pads. Oh, you can search up top actually. Brake pads. Let's say we're gonna get some front brake pads for this vehicle. You can browse, same thing. I like, uh, once you get used to next parts a lot better than any other website. Um, just to add, just click on add right here. And when you're ready to transfer, just click on transfer. It's a lot faster actually when you use next part. And just like that, it add the, the brake pads and it told you where you got it from and all that. Um, how to, the last section I wanna show you is uh, what about parts and labor? So if you have a subscription with next part with the labor, let me show how that would work. I'm gonna just click on vendor test, which is just like it could be ours on O'Reilly. You can have the vendor, you can have the labor rates on all of them. Um, actually, I don't have that one anymore. All right, well, I, I see the sign up, which is good. Let me see if I can see the sign up. So that's, I've been looking for that button, sign up dashboard so you can sign up for for O'Reilly anyway it will transfer the labor uh, I think I have it through a and J let me check a and J and let's say we want to get a starter for this vehicle so take advantage of what make sure you take advantage of, of all the options out there so like, like this one I'm gonna add the, 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 the starter and you see where it says labor right here this is the labor rate I click on it and it's gonna give me and tells me like the labor rate 0.9 on the V6. All right, click on add. And once I'm ready, I'm just gonna click on transfer. And look, so it brought the star, and it brought the labor too, which is really good. Now you can give a uh, so if somebody on the phone that it's really convenient, you can give them price right away and tell them uh, it's gonna cost 266, and you can sell the job. Um. The last thing, I think that should be good for today. Yep, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time. Thanks.